It is the prospect Mackenzie Dern meeting the veteran Kalini Medeiros. Teacher DeSantis, Julie Kedzie, Scottish Rite Temple, Kansas City, Missouri, Invicta FC 26. Medeiros in the white top, Dern in the pink. Big leg kick by the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu World Champion misses. And we saw some advance, not advance, we saw some advancements in the striking of Mackenzie Dern in her last outing um, in another promotion. But Kalini Medeiros, she's got an overhand that just really swings out there, really hits hard. Dern was very honest with her uh, ability about getting hit. She wasn't a real big fan of getting hit, and we'll see what she uh, can do here with this uh, offensive output from Medeiros. And it looks at this point that uh, Medeiros is kind of trying to keep her at range a little bit, looking for that big shot. Nice overhand attempt there from Mackenzie Dern. Um, I would think that she wants to take this to the ground. Oh, nice head kick. But it looks like she's trying to really show that she's got some improved striking. And of course, she works out at the lab, which is one of the best teams, I think, in mixed martial arts with um, just incredible female training partners. When you look at Mackenzie Dern, she wants to win this fight by submission. And she was honest. She said that you know she wanted Medeiros to get on top and, and, and be in her guard. She's a guard player. We'll see if Medeiros is uh, cautious there. She said she's not. She said, again, I'll, I'll punch her in the face. I'll be able to dictate the pace of this fight. And thus far, uh, this fight has remained on its feet. Now here's a takedown by Medeiros. Done with emphasis. McGurn trying to stand up. You know, that might be the, the strategy here of Kalina Medeiros. Take her down, but never really engage with her on the floor. Rinse and repeat. I think that would be a fantastic strategy, TJ. Tire her out a little bit, make her cautious of attacking, and then land your own punches and kicks. When we talk about the experience factor, Kalini Medeiros has it in mixed martial arts, but overall, Mackenzie Dern has been competing since she was about six years old. So while it hasn't been in the MMA uh, forum, it, it, it has been in grappling. And Mackenzie Dern, I think, is immune to a lot of the lights, a lot of the pressure, because she's been doing this really since she's can, can remember. Yeah, she's had some wonderful performance. I mean, she, like I said earlier, her resume in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is incredible in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competition. And the transference of those skills into the cage is incredibly, like, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful base to start from. But if we see the way Kalini Medeiros is moving around, trying not to get a track on, oh, big overhand! Kalini Medeiros trying to find her shorts about her. Mackenzie Dern, the kickboxer, putting it on Kalini Medeiros. Well, this is fun. That was a wonderful overhand, and the way she kind of stayed measured, a little bit off balance, but still moving forward. Now she's got Kalini Medeiros, where she can tie her up and employ a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game. And while Mackenzie Dern said, I, I don't like to be hit, that doesn't mean that she doesn't like to kickbox when it's going her way. And you know, with prospects like this that come from you know one style of martial art, they are athletes. Let's, for, let's not forget that athletic pedigree that they have. They're able to adapt quickly and, and advance quickly and, and improve their skills. And we've never seen that kind of taste of power um, well, I guess we haven't really seen Mackenzie Dern in RKJ. We have seen that taste of power before. And we see Kalini spinning around, trying to get at range, got the back briefly, and then spun out and got back. So she's tasted the power of Mackenzie Dern. She's tasted that overhand. Now let's see if she switches things up or continues to pepper her from the outside. Dern very light on her feet. You can tell that confidence is building here. 90 seconds remain in the first round. Kalini Medeiros trying to find her base underneath her, trying to get some offense going, but she needs to respect that right hand and a kick here by Dern. Medeiros on the run, McKenzie stalking going forward. It's a real testament to the, I guess, the, the coaching that's been going on. McKenzie Dern has shown this just really big overhand, and then the read of the left high kick afterwards, even though it didn't land flush, it was a really nicely balanced way to recover and continue to attack. Right hand misses by Medeiros, but it was a big one. And Dern, even though she didn't eat it, needs to respect that power of Kalina Medeiros because I guarantee you it's not gone now. I don't think so. She seems a little wobbled, a little off balance, and a little bit desperate with that kind of grab she did right there, TJ. Oh, again, the overhand to the high kick. Mackenzie Dern has power. She's definitely showing that here in her Invicta FC debut. 35 seconds remain here. This opening round now in the clinch. Dern trying to wrap her up and get a takedown. Medeiros not going down without a fight. And normally I would be like, don't wrap over the head like that, but Dern has a very impressive guillotine, so getting to that position, getting to a choke position, actually may be working in her favor, whereas it does give her opponent a takedown to be higher. 
to have Kalina Medeiros' hips underneath her. Kalina Medeiros is pinning that arm, pinning that, uh, that left hand against the cage, trying to keep that from overhooking or wrapping over the top. Five minutes in the books between Mackenzie Dern and Kalina Medeiros. A fight that hasn't hit the floor, and I don't know if you would have told many people if the first round didn't hit the floor that it would be a 10-9 Mackenzie Dern round, but that's what it was. You know, that's the wonderful thing about MMA is that you get to improve in all areas, and it's a transference of skills. She's able to take some of that Brazilian jiu-jitsu, kind of the, the measures of it and the way you, do with, you deal with rhythm and apply that to striking attacks. Take a look at some of this action. Walk us through, Julie. Well, we're seeing this. We saw this overhand a couple times. That huge overhand that staggered Medeiros. And then you can see Dern coming to an angle where she can attack on the other side of Medeiros' head. It was a, a smart move. It's a smart strategy. Hit over the head like that and then look for the other side. She tried it with a kick. Didn't quite get it. She's off balance. Her feet are not underneath her. But it kind of goes to show you once Dern gets her feet settled under her strikes, how much power she can actually have, how much she can generate without kind of that strange stepping style or the heavy left foot. Momentum firmly in the corner of Mackenzie Dern as we enter round number two. See what adjustments both of these fighters will make. We talk about the weight cut for Mackenzie Dern. She's had issues with it in the past. She made it this time. And that's where it pays dividends. She's a much bigger fighter here from Fight Time. Now, I don't know if you saw that, TJ, but Dern actually hit a body shot with her right kick as uh, Medeiros moved her head to the side. Again, it was a nice read. It could have very easily hit Medeiros in the head with a slight adjustment. Again, that overhand. Wow, it's fast. Mackenzie Dern showing off her striking ability. Medeiros is about to almost run over Mike England behind her. It was right behind her when she was moving. Um, Medeiros is staying on the outside. She's doing quick feet, trying to find an angle, but her overhand is lacking kind of the arch in order to get over um, Dern's tall shoulders. Talk about the weight cut of Dern. She said that she started camp around 140 pounds, and she looks like a bantamweight in there fighting a, a strong one. She does, you know, she's stepping, like I said, it's an awkward step. I feel like if she gets her hips a little bit more underneath her, but again, maybe she doesn't need that. She seems to be generating enough power as it is. Medeiros obviously thought a lot about this fight and preparing. Now she needs to be defensive here, trying to catch the kick here of Dern. I just can't imagine Medeiros really thought that she would be having to be defensive in a kickboxing fight with, with Mackenzie Dern. Well, you know, they, it goes to show you that uh, MMA just can do anything, can't it? I mean, these fighters have all the potential in the world to change everything in a second. And you see Medeiros is holding the leg. She's not quite to a treetop there, but she's lifting the leg up, and that does slow down the power of Medir uh, Excuse me, of Dern. Lena trying to make Dern feel her pressure, trying to control her posture up against the fence. And it looks like there may be a little bit of swelling under the eye of the left eye of Medeiros. She's tied up right here, which is a strange place to want to be, but she's, you know, double underhooks right there, does kind of give up a throw, a hip toss, but I don't know that Dern is able to get that just yet. And it looks like she's almost trying to climb the back of Medeiros. Medeiros trying to secure this position and not be bullied by Dern, who has her back against the fence. Big swing and a miss by Mackenzie Dern, now back in space. Our co-main event, Mackenzie Dern making her Invicta FC debut here against Kalina Medeiros. Nice kick by the World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion. Medeiros tries to answer with one of her own. And Medeiros has kind of lost her quickness. She's lost her lateral movement. She needs to get back. Even though she was getting hit, she's going to get hit even more if she stays right there in the pocket. Her head movement and her foot movement, or her leg movement, I should say, needs to improve, needs to quicken up again. We talk about the overhand right of Kalini Medeiros. She's thrown it, but she hasn't really set it up. Would you like to see Kalini make some sort of adjustment on her feet with her punches? Yes, sir. I would like to see her elbow get a little bit higher as well on that right hand. If she wants to throw it, she's got to throw full commitment and try to reach over the top. It is hard against a taller fighter to get that, especially one who's throwing overhands. Oh, wow, guillotine attempt there. Standing guillotine attempt there by Dern. Tied up and now back up against the cage. You can see Dern was trying to push on, and her, I think her corner was calling for elbows right there, um, bracing that face off instead of grabbing it. You see the composure of Mackenzie Dern looking over at her corner, giving them a nod, agreeing with the strategy and advice that they're telling her. Now, the way Dern is standing with her feet together can make her susceptible to, susceptible to a double leg. She's even on her toes right there, but she's looking for that sweep. Now, she the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Wizard on the floor. Kalina Medeiros needs to protect that left leg. 
Knee bar upcoming, maybe. Nicely uh, done. Yeah, it looks like she was rolling over that. Uh, you can see Kalina Medeiros is locked up, trying to disallow it, trying to grab the back. But you can see um, Dern is reaching over the top and actually trying to extend with the, those legs. This is some fun stuff. It's like a toehold, which she pulls out of. Fun. You see if Dern moves to secure the position. A minute is a long time for Kalina Medeiros to be on the floor with this Brazilian Jiu Jitsu wizard and Mackenzie Dern. And the way she's tied up on Dern's head is actually giving Dern a little bit more support to keep moving. You see, she transitioned to mount right there. Um, grabbing around the head like that is going to keep her from striking, but it is sacrificing the arms of Medeiros. Now, nah, postured up is Mackenzie Dern, raining down some strike. Kalini Medeiros forced to be defensive. Medeiros trying to move. Dern adjusting more strikes for yeah. Mackenzie Dern. And I really do believe these are hitting very hard, TJ. You can see Medeiros rolling over, trying to get out the back door, but giving up her back to a multi-time champion in jiu-jitsu is maybe not the best strategy. Dern is patiently working the ears with strikes, trying to break down her opponent as Medeiros tries to climb out the back door. Medeiros looks like she will survive. Round two almost in the books. Mackenzie Dern unable to submit her. She had her chance. Bit of a moral victory for Kalini Medeiros surviving that sequence on the floor, but definitely not the second round and not the fight thus far that Kalini Medeiros wanted. Yeah, possibly a moral victory, but you saw she was still on her knees after the bell rang. It took her a second to get to her feet. She is lumped up there in the ITJ and probably in the body as well. I, I think she's taken quite a bit of damage. Um, testament to those overhand rights. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments to pull off something, but this is Mackenzie Dern's night thus far. Her and Victor FC debut is going just the way I think she wanted to this one. It is, and uh, I mean, that was, what a great matchup for her. This is incredible. Um, looking at the fence work that was going on there, you see Kalini trying to reap her to the ground. Uh, Mackenzie hits the ground, immediately starts attacking that leg. It looks like she's going for a heel hook at first, then she rolls over to try to get the arm bar, uh, excuse me, the knee bar. She ends up in mount at the end of this with some striking. Again, she's holding mount well. The strikes are maybe not as power powerful as you would think, but then you see the face of Kalini Medeiros, and you see, wow, those are really getting through. Touch of gloves, third and final round here between these two strawweights, our co-main event, Mackenzie Dern. Up big after 10 minutes, Kalini Medeiros, the former title challenger, oh. eats a hard right hand by oh Dern. Oh my goodness. Kick followed up by Dern, huge takedown by the Brazilian. Now that is the game that Medeiros had been wanting to play, I think, from the beginning. See if Kalini can get it going. She's gonna need a stoppage, though, if she wants to save this fight. She ate a pretty big shot there at the beginning of this round, though. Dern still coming forward, beautiful kick comes high. Medeiros forced to cover up, eat some punches, now back in the clinch. You can hear John Crouch yelling for two-step, yelling for a cutoff of the angles, and now Dern has her up against the fence. They're calling for those knees to the body, calling for her to keep working. Now her head is down very low, and she's fishing for that leg. Um, they're telling her to switch to the double leg right now. Kalini trying to muscle her way out of it, she does. It's a problem when you overreach, TJ, and you don't have the right position. You do need to switch to a double leg if you don't have that high crotch. Nears holding this position. Dern trying to reverse. At this point, I don't know what Banderas would want to do. I mean, she hasn't had the success that maybe she thought she would on the feet. But here, time is not on her side. She can't afford to waste this much time in the clinch if she wants to try to win this fight. No, I think sometimes you don't think strategy and you're just like fight. At, right. at a certain point during a match, especially when you're down on the cards and you know you are, you're just gonna fight and you're not gonna think about what's smart. Knees on the inside here by Medeiros. You can hear John Crouch just yelling out some really fantastic advice, um, uh, very loudly projecting it all the way across. And he's saying that Medeiros just wants to survive. Um, I think Medeiros is doing smart things in the clinch. She's just not quite being offensive enough yet. She is throwing punches and kicks, but nothing big enough to finish it yet. Punches and knees. Still staying inside this clinch is Medeiros. Controlling Dern. Dern really able to do a lot of things that fighters can't do here that aren't 
you know, really advise, but because she's such a grappling phenom that she can she can do some things that might be mistakes for other fighters and still get away with them. Yes, she absolutely can. I mean, if she's stepping the wrong way or putting her feet together and she gets taken down, all the better for her, unless she's dumped and the, the opponent walks away, which is what Medeiros was doing. Um, you know, Mackenzie Dern's not exactly keeping her weight down low. It's almost like she's tempting that takedown or she just doesn't have the experience yet on the fence fighting. Now, she took some, almost some big hard shots there, got back out. Dern threw a big right hand of her own. We've seen that all fight. It has landed. A lot of people talking about the progression of Mackenzie Dern, and it has been on display here tonight inside her Invicta FC debut. There's that right hand again. Medeiros wisely circling away from it. Under two minutes left here. The corner of Dern, so excited at this young 24-year-old. A lot of expectations for her in her mixed martial arts career, and tonight in Invicta FC, she is showing why that excitement exists. Absolutely, people have a lot of faith in her potential, and I'm a convert now. Um, you know, again, the striking is, it's landing well. It's right. maybe not necessarily looking as pretty or as powerful as it could be, but that tells you what it could be in the future. Now, she just turned her back to her opponent, like to the cage, and yet, I don't think she feels like she's in danger. She looks like she's inconvenienced and tired more than anything. If this hits the ground, she's gonna do well. I think that she almost wants it to. Medeiros, on the other hand, is really pushing, really pushing pressure. If I were Medeiros at this point, I would be double-legging her, I'd be dropping for takedowns and then jumping back up, creating space and then doing it again. But that's easier said than done. I'm here sitting in a dress. I'm not in the cage. Big takedown here for Mackenzie Dern. Less than a minute remains for her to work. Trying to Beautiful clear the legs, now switch. straight to mount here for Mackenzie Dern. And again, Medeiros is grabbing onto the head, trying to prevent that onslaught of ground and pound. She's got 40 seconds left, but that is exposing her arms for submissions. You can see Mackenzie Dern kind of hopping up froggy style, getting higher into the armpit so she can launch a better attack and free an arm. 30 seconds left here for Mackenzie Dern to hunt for a finish. Lindy Medeiros, very tough. And now she goes belly down, arm bar coming oh, for Mackenzie wow. Dern! Mackenzie Dern taking that arm home. Kalindi oh. Medeiros taps. It is done. Wow. Mackenzie Dern victorious in her Invicta FC debut. That is why people are excited for this Brazilian Jiu Jitsu phenom. Mackenzie Dern via submission late in round number three. What a statement tonight. She embraces former champion Benson Henderson, Mackenzie Dern. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy with this performance as she should be, Julie. That was really, I, I think, what a lot of people wanted to see from Mackenzie Dern. She was, was offensive wonderful. on the feet, offensive on the floor, and also she had counter offense as well. We really saw the full gamut of mixed martial arts from this young 24-year-old. We saw the gamut of mixed martial arts, and we saw how much she's going to improve, TJ. How much confidence it gave her to get those hard strikes, to really get the fight into deep water to continue to move and to get the finish at the end. Mackenzie Dern showing that she is much more than just a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu player on the feet. She lumped up Kalini Medeiros, but on the floor, she showed why she should be regarded as one of the best BJJ practitioners in mixed martial arts. Victorious is Mackenzie Dern in our co-main event. For the official time of the stoppage, here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Four minutes, 45 seconds, round number three. Submission by armbar for your winner. She is still undefeated, Mackenzie Dern!